Good morning. This is Michael Lipinski again, and back to our building information and modeling uh, tutorials. One of the first things I'd like to state uh, in Chapter 1 is that you really shouldn't deal drugs in your schools, nor shall, should you actually take illegal narcotics. With that being said, understanding the principles of BIM, in this chapter we cover the principles of a building information modeling approach within your office environment and summarize some of the many practices used in today's architectural workflows. We explain how you and your organization can achieve some of the many possible benefits from BIM by sharing the processes that these techniques and technologies support. As you'll see, these practices are orientated to industry BIM uses that provide advantages, such as more thoroughly explored design concepts, better coordinated documentation, and better executed construction methods. In this chapter, you will learn to focus your investment in BIM, understand a BIM workflow, leverage BIM processes. The fundamentals of BIM approach, building information modeling is an integrated model-centric method methodology that delivers validated and coordinated knowledge about a building project through planning, design, construction, and operation. When this collaborative interdisciplinary approach is optimized, it can improve an organization's operations. BIM provides designers, contractors, and owners with a process to improve decision-making, quality, and timeliness. At the core of this BIM approach are model-centric workflows, geometric and data models that support project edu education, execution, and asset lifecycle management. These workflows determine the methodology for creating data-rich geometries, integrated deliverables, and a model-based process to develop projects from planning through the operation and management lifecycle phases. BIM can be defined through technology processes, its governance through standardization, and people. The technology system is central to the process of creating, storing, and using models. With processes, the success of BIM requires all stakeholders in the project ecosystem to follow a series of steps, both as individuals and as a team. Ultimately, the users of these techniques and technologies are committed to improving their design process by successfully integrating both geometry and data. To succeed with these practices in this environment, a business must make fundamental changes to the way it operates, whether by moving into a new market or by changing its methods of operation. It requires an alignment of the organization's activities relating to its people, processes and technology with its business strategy and vision. Through collaboration and data management during an asset's life cycle, sharing information efficiently and effectively can support better integration and interoperability among all project stakeholders. Along with this data comes the possibility of integrated analysis. <sighs> By making these analyses easily accessible, derivatives of this model-centric workflow can provide a better understanding of design opportunities and decisions consequences. With the availability of valid geometry-based data, 2D, 3D visualization, clash detection, 4D time, 5D cost and beyond are possible. Taking advantage of these capabilities is a must in keeping architectural firms relevant in today's market. Transforming your organization's business quickly and efficiently will be the difference between maintaining your market share and taking the next evolutionary step forward or backwards. The management people inside a BIM project team. The architectural marketplace is changing. Some of your organization's leadership may be aware of this change and are organizing BIM teams and resources to better anticipate new processes. Others are unsure of how BIM may change how they plan projects for staffing to hiring. 
When looking to acquire BIM skilled staff, savvy firms look for process experience in their new hires and no longer solely focus on hiring those with tool expertise. The primary factor is always professional experience, but knowledge of a BIM workflow supports these professional skills very well. When planning project staffing, architectural firms generally focus on deliverables produced by a project hierarchy of managers, designers, engineers, interns, and dress people. BIM roles and responsibilities are based on the availability within the project team rather than composing the best fit based on model-based workflows. This does not constitute a project problem as much as it decreases efficiency in two ways. Roles and responsibilities are not clearly defined, and team members may adjust to BIM project needs during the project. Managers who are making staff, staffing decisions may not have the resources to judge BIM experience level or tool process skill sets other than hearsay or previous projects experience with similar circumstances. BIM managers have a better understanding of these capabilities, but do not generally make staffing decisions for projects. There may be project managers who know to confer with BIM managers over this need at project startup. However, this is uncommon. Typically, professionals are hired based on project experience, education, and certifications. Historically, for architectural firms, BIM experience was considered a nice to have, but not required. In today's market, as BIM and BIM skills have become commoditized, an increasing number of professionals have BIM experience on their resumes in the form of project experience and trained tools, as BIM skill sets are being required more frequently. Not having these skill sets does not preclude staff members from being successful BIM project team members, but it does impede the ability of managers with BIM experience to staff projects appropriately and hinders their ability to develop, to develop a plan in accordance with the project requirements. Regardless, whether you are making staffing decisions or are a hardworking BIM project team member, understanding how these workflows are changing, the planning and execution of projects is important. Being prepared by understanding the, the people, processes, and technology of BIM is a must. Staffing for BIM. As the building industry's process of design and documentation is transforming, one of the fundamental changes teams need to address is staff planning and BIM process. A common misconception of project management is that staffing the BIM project will be the same as has been in CAD workflows. Unfortunately, this is not the case because a BIM-based project can significantly alter the project workflow, which now includes BIM-focused goals that are beyond simple documentation. Many of the standard timetables for task completion are no longer valid. Although fundamental de deliverables remain the same, drawing schedules, etc., the process to reach these outputs are different. For example, in a CAD workflow, a user can create a plan as a single one-off entity. In a BIM workflow, the same user must develop a model before a floor plan can be produced. The investment in the 3D model requires more time up front, and therefore, the floor plan to be produced necessitates a longer schedule. However, once this model has been produced, many other derivatives can be produced with less effort. As a model is developed, the ability to generate accurate and precise drawing schedules and analysis is made expedient because it is derived from the developed model. To leverage this workflow, the staff and processes must take into account the gathering of momentum, the gathering of momentum early in the cadence of execution to accommodate all phases. Years ago, Patrick McLeany, who is the CEO of Helmuth, Lobata, and Kalsbaum, explained this workflow movement with a diagrammatical description of the shift of workload and the ease of affecting change in the construction process forward. Another important aspect of a BIM workflow is its ability to leverage decisions earlier in the process. As shown in this figure, implementing BIM in earlier project phases allows teams to make and share better information earlier so that the entire project team can benefit earlier. On the basis of the BIM uses, a common industry term that we will refer to later in this chapter, project teams may need to adjust labor in the planning and design stages to support the development of geometric and data models. In a CAD workflow, different project roles may be tasked with separate tasks in order to move the design forward. A planner may be developing a program, just as the designer may be producing massing studies. In a BIM workflow, these roles may be continued. The same task 
maybe continuing the same task, but in the context of a single model, allowing them to interact through geometry and information. Because of this interaction and its ability to allow better decision making, project teams may be developing additional staff to help support this collaboration in BIM. Depending on the BIM uses, teams might increase staff to build a model or to perform energy analysis. However, deploying a BIM workflow will not necessarily provide more proficiency or quality than a CAD-based project without proper planning and governance, understanding project roles. It is also important to understand how the significant change to tools and processes provided by BIM affects the roles and responsibilities of the project team. Project managers need to plan staffing and labor required to complete tasks in every phase. BIM projects are supported by a few primary roles that will allow the team a level of predictability. Although the specific effort and staffing will vary between offices and even projects, here are the primary roles that should be considered on every BIM project. The design architect generates design intent from the planning stage through early design. The technical architect produces the deliverables ensuring the design intent is achieved. The coordinator directs the BIM workflow between design and production. These roles represent efforts and general tasks that you need to take into account on any BIM project. For larger BIM projects, these roles could represent multiple people whereas small projects or even itty bitty ones may constitute the same person filling multiple roles. For many architectural firms, designers and production staff may be tightly integrated and have few differences in the responsibilities. For other firms, there may be a clear demarcation between the first two roles, a clear demarcation. Regardless of interaction between designers and production roles, every BIM project has some coordination responsibilities. We will not explore each of these in more detail and discuss how these roles affect the project workflow. We're not going to discuss that. 